So a lot of times people can get haters, right? And what do you tell the haters? You know, don't let them stop you from doing your thing. That's mm -hmm. what I say. However, recently we know pro athletes, they always have to deal with haters, whether you play hockey or basketball. Well, Sidney Crosby, huge hockey star, mm -hmm. was playing on the ice uh, against the Rangers. And one of the Rangers fans uh, kept chirping him nonstop throughout the game. He could hear it, he could hear it, he could hear it. Now, he's a Canadian, we know Crosby's a Canadian. He kept it so classy, look what he did. Instead of going back to the fan, he wrote on a hockey stick this note. Good chirps, take it easy on me next time. <laughs> then got his trainer to give this fan the, uh, the stick right there. <laughs> I so <laughs> now That's this hilarious. fan has a little memorabilia of what he thought he did, but hey, you know what was the best that revenge? That is so funny. Uh, the Penguins still won. Yeah. Nice. Seven to two. So I just talk about taking the high road there. Yeah. I love that. Like he just, yeah, he made the fan look so bad. Yeah. He made himself look really good. Well, and potentially like created a relationship with that fan, yes. right? Like uh, as we all know, chirping is part of the game and yeah, hockey. Yeah, exactly. I was just reading this on Twitter and everyone's like, really? Like Crosby could actually hear this guy on yeah. the ice? Because I guess he only had one penalty yeah. during the game. Um, and everyone around the guy kind of chimed in on Twitter and said, yes, he was very loud, yeah. but clever. So Very clever. <laughs> and the best, like I said, the best revenge was a win. A exactly, good win, too. Exactly, yes.